Wealth is like a river. It's always moving and changing, says an ancient proverb. But for many millionaires, that river can suddenly become a waterfall, quickly sweeping away their wealth. In fact, a surprising number of high net worth individuals end up losing everything. But why does this happen? Is it just bad luck or are there common mistakes that lead to financial ruin? In this video, we'll explore the top 12 mistakes that can destroy wealth and, more importantly, how to avoid them. From overspending to poor investment choices, we'll examine the pitfalls that even the richest people can fall into. If you want to build lasting wealth and avoid the financial mistakes that could wipe you out, keep watching. Don't forget to comment, I'm ready if you're committed to your financial journey. Your path to wealth begins now, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. Let's get started. Number one, money is a game of exchange. Money moves through a system where people either earn it or make it. These two ways of getting money are different from each other. When you earn money, you trade your time and energy for payment. For example, if you work for a certain number of hours, you get paid for those hours. On the other hand, making money involves putting in time, effort, and sometimes creativity to create something that can keep earning money over time. For instance, if you invent a product or start a business, you can continue to earn money each time someone buys what you've created. In both cases, the money comes from other people and ends up in your account. For any exchange of money to happen, both sides need to benefit. So to get money, you need to offer something valuable that others are willing to pay for. Number two, money is easy to get and harder to maintain. Many people find it easy to earn a lot of money but struggle to keep it over time. This is what I call the big check syndrome. For example, imagine a real estate agent who makes a huge sale on a $6 million house and earns a $200,000 commission in one month. Excited by this large amount of money, the agent starts spending lavishly, forgetting that their regular monthly income is only about $17,000. When someone suddenly gets a large sum of money, it can make them think differently. They may focus on the big amount they received and begin spending excessively on luxury items. This excitement can lead to poor financial decisions because they might not realize that such large amounts of money are temporary. Instead of investing wisely to build more wealth, they end up spending the money quickly. Managing money well is crucial for growing and maintaining wealth. While earning money can be straightforward for some, keeping and expanding it requires careful planning and self-discipline. Surprisingly, about 80% of new millionaires lose their wealth within a year, according to Forbes. This statistic shows how important it is to handle money wisely and plan for the future. Number three, money attracts money. One important rule for building wealth is to surround yourself with other wealthy people. You might notice that rich people often socialize with others who are also wealthy. This isn't because they look down on those with less money, but because they share similar ways of thinking and priorities. If you want to become wealthy, it's helpful to build relationships with successful people. By doing so, you can learn from their mindset, habits, and behaviors. Wealthy individuals have useful knowledge about making money and maintaining a lifestyle that promotes financial growth. They also tend to be in environments full of opportunities. By connecting with them, you can gain insights and chances that can help you achieve wealth yourself. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful and want more content like this, comment more below. Let's keep going. Number four, money loves secrecy. Keeping your finances private is crucial for managing money well. It's a smart idea to have a hidden account that only you know about. The key is to keep this account secret from everyone else. Why is this privacy so important? When people know how much money you have, they might try to use that information to their advantage. They might ask for financial help more often, and saying no could create tension in relationships. Having a private account can be very helpful during emergencies. Unexpected situations, like a sudden business crisis or an urgent need for money, can come up. In these cases, having a secret reserve of funds can be a lifesaver. Number five, money hates stagnation. It might sound odd, but money works best when it keeps moving. When money just sits still, it can become less valuable and might even be lost. For example, if you keep investing in a business that isn't making a profit, the money can lose value over time. The key is to make sure your money is actively working for you. Investing in different places helps your money grow because it can come back to you from various sources. 
Simply keeping your money in a bank account isn't enough. It's like letting it sit and lose its value. Instead, your money should be used in ways that generate more income. Remember, this doesn't apply to the secret account meant for emergencies. That account is just for unexpected situations, while the goal is to keep your money moving and working to increase your wealth. Number six, money follows value creation. Money tends to follow where value is created. To build wealth, focus on creating something valuable rather than just trying to earn money directly. For instance, successful business owners often start companies that solve problems or fulfill a need, which attracts money to their ventures. Similarly, people who develop valuable skills or offer exceptional services can earn more income because they provide something of worth. By concentrating on improving or creating something valuable, money will come as a result. In short, the key is to add value through innovation, quality work, or solving important problems. When you focus on making a positive impact, money will naturally follow. Number seven, money loves risk takers. As you get older, you're likely to be less willing to take risks. For example, a 23-year-old might be more open to risky investments than a 70-year-old. With age, people often become more cautious about their money. However, being too cautious can cause you to miss out on valuable opportunities that could lead to significant profits. When you're younger, it's important to be smart about your investments and be willing to take some calculated risks. Great opportunities often come with a certain level of risk, and being open to these risks can help you achieve greater financial success. Number eight, let money work for you. If you look at how rich and poor people manage their money, you'll notice a big difference. Rich people make their money work for them, while those with less money often work for their money. Rich people typically hire skilled professionals to handle routine tasks, allowing them to focus on bigger projects and ideas. They also have various sources of passive income that earn money without needing to work actively. In contrast, people with less money often work for others and rely on their own labor to earn a living. They might spend their money quickly and don't always plan for emergencies, making them more vulnerable to financial troubles. Rich people plan their finances carefully, setting up things like emergency funds, which helps them stay secure. By making their money work for them, they can build more wealth over time. Number nine, money requires continuous learning. Building wealth is an ongoing process that requires you to keep learning and adapting. Financial markets, investment strategies, and economic conditions change over time. So staying updated is crucial. To stay on top, you should regularly update your knowledge about new financial trends investment opportunities, and market changes. Reading books, taking courses, and keeping up with global economic news can give you valuable insights and strategies to keep your financial plans effective. By continuously learning, you can adjust to new developments and take advantage of new opportunities, helping you build and maintain your wealth. Number 10. Money is a tool, not a goal. Money can offer comfort and open doors, but it should be viewed as a tool, not the end goal. Think about what you want to accomplish with your money, like ensuring financial security, supporting a cause, or taking care of your family. By focusing on these goals, you use money to achieve your objectives rather than just chasing wealth for its own sake. This approach helps keep you motivated and ensures that your financial choices support your overall life goals and values. Number 11. Money Benefits from Networking Building and keeping a strong network can greatly influence your financial success. Networking helps you learn from others, share ideas, and gain access to useful resources. When you connect with successful people, you can find new business opportunities, get valuable advice, and form partnerships that you might not have had access to otherwise. Being active in both professional and social networks allows you to use your relationships for mutual benefit. You can learn from other people's experiences and open doors to new opportunities. Effective networking boosts your chances of making money and reaching your financial goals. Number 12. Money is earned through crisis. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest people in the world, has a famous saying, Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This means that during times of crisis, when others are scared and selling their assets, smart investors see an opportunity. They know that during tough times, prices for things like houses and stocks often drop, while the demand for certain goods and services might actually increase. 
For example, if a house normally costs a million dollars, but during a downturn, it might be available for $750,000 because fewer people are buying. This gives buyers more negotiating power. If you buy the house at a lower price and hold on to it, you can sell it for a higher price once the market improves. The same idea applies to the stock market. When stock prices fall, many people panic and sell their shares. However, this drop is usually temporary. Savvy investors use these low prices as a chance to buy stocks cheaply. When the market recovers, the value of these stocks goes up, increasing their wealth. In summary, careful financial planning and smart investing during tough times can lead to greater wealth later. By saving money and preparing for the next downturn, you can turn a crisis into an opportunity to strengthen your finances. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. For more informative content on finance, entrepreneurship, and self-improvement, subscribe to our Voice of Wealth channel. We post new videos every other day to help you succeed in various aspects of life. Have a great day and see you in the next one.